is Monday, March the 5th, uh, 2012 AD. I'm Ken Neal's photographer from Rambling Roof, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the differences between All Eye and IPB. Now, All Eye is Ken Eos's, or Ken's, if you will, uh, new video compression uh, algorithm that is going to be released with the 5D Mark III and the 1DX, which is supposed to be coming out sometime at the end of this month. Uh, which is March, again, March uh, 2012. Now, there's not a lot of people that outside of Canon have even been able to deal with this to, to tell you exactly how good it is. That is the all eye as compared to the, I, the IPB. So, we don't really have a whole lot of actual hands on, but what we do have is written material describing what it is in different magazines and on the internet. So, let me give you the basics, okay? All eye is basically it compresses each frame. You know, if you got 20 frames here, it compresses each frame individually. Whereas IPB compresses two or three together, okay? So it's basically like, let's say I'm shooting this video right here, and it's compressing it. If it were compressing it, it would say, you know what, here's a white spot here, here's a white spot here, and there's a, you know, so let's, let's, let's compress it by saying, you know what, we know where the white spots are here and here, Let's combine these frames and get rid of that white spot, and we can make it smaller, basically. Whereas, all eye compresses each frame, and, okay? So that's basically the idea. The idea with IPB is it kind of puts frames together and uh, locks them together to compress them. Uh, let's talk about the differences. All eye, compressing each frame. Even with compression, all eye is a larger file, okay? IPB does do a better job of compressing, making it smaller, from what we know, from written materials on the internet. However, the benefits to all I on Canon's side is the fact that if you have an older computer, it's easier to edit because you're doing frame by frame, and it's just generally speaking, as an edit, as an editing tool, it's whether you have an old computer or a new computer, you're dealing with one individual frame at a time. So that's the benefits. The downside is it's it's a compression, but it, it doesn't it doesn't compress as much as the IPB. Okay, so you got individual the ability to do individual frames, which is what well, I would I mean I wouldn't personally want to do groups, but anyway that's just me. Now IPB on there it does do a better job of compression from what we understand, but you have to deal you have to have a more uh, higher end computer with more memory more speed. Because what it does is it interlocks frames and compresses them. So basically it says, like, well, there's a white spot here. Let's say there's a big white spot here. And it says, you know what, there's a big white spot here. More than likely it's going to be in the next couple frames. Let's just throw out the white image and know that it's going to be white. And it, that, that way it can compress them. It interlocks them and says, you know what, there's a white spot that way for 20 seconds or 2 frames or 20 frames. However it does it. And it says, you know what, we can compress that knowing that that white's going to be there. That white spot's gonna be there the whole time. We can compress it and get you know get rid of stuff we don't need, and so that it does make it smaller. But like I said, it puts the frames together. You have to deal with two or three frames at a time. Uh, normally, uh, depending on the the exact IPB, you have to. It's normally three frames. I think it's three frames per uh, that are interlocked together. So you need a more powerful computer uh, because it has to. Because the computer has to render those frames. So, with the LI, it's not rendering, it's just compressing. So, I mean, there's benefits to both. Obviously, like I said, the IPB is going to do a better job of physically compressing and making the size smaller. However, the LI, from what we read from the internet, is going to... It's going to be easier to use, which I like. Um, and it's uh, going to be easier on older computers. And so you got your choice. Individually compressed, compressed together, uh, better compression, easier to use. So that's a little bit of a comparison between the two. And how, how much of a difference in size and compression, I mean, how, how, how much better uh, this actually works with computers, how much, uh, to basically to compare the two, we're going to have to wait until the 1DX 
and the EOS 5D Mark III hit the shelves at the end of March 2012. And people can start shooting video and compare the two types. Um, but basically that's an overview of the differences. So until next time, I'm Ken Neal, Sardar for Rally Rips, and thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you.